I don't know about you, but I believe one of the reasons God allowed me to be born in Liberia is because he has given me a piece of assignment. I've come to realize one of the greatest marks of a genuine servant of God. Number one is to have a calling from God. Number two is to have a passion for his people. God will do nothing in the life of men without the use of a man. So if you claim that God called you and you don't love the people, you don't love the place that God has called you, that calling is questionable. Over the years when I served in Nigeria, everywhere I went to, they gave me citizenship. The Nigerians gave me citizenship. The Yoruba chiefs will beg me to take lender property because I behave like Kunle or Ade Faransi or something, something. And when the Igbo people saw me, they saw me like their own brother or like their own son. And when Hausa saw me, they said, this is one of our own. So now that God sent me to Liberia, as you know, I belong to every tribe in this country. Two of us. Imoe. Kabwe. <laughs> so I would identify with every people group. But Christian friends, there is something that troubled me concerning this nation. I am one person who believes that whoever leads us as a nation should have the fear of God. But most of all, those of us who are the followers, even if God sent angels from heaven to come and rule this country and give us cabinet ministers that are all angels, if we don't change our mindset, this country will fail. Why am I saying it? Three weeks ago, the noise in this town was that we will win, we will win. Now we have won, two of us. Some people already vest, they said they didn't get their job. Some people vest already. Some people are planning trouble now because they didn't get their job. Some people believe that uh, their, their, their president or our president-elect has already forgotten them. So they went to social media and they said, Hey, you see, don't forget the people that helped you when you were down there. What kind of mindset are we? Or do we have? Overnight! Government cannot make anybody rich. Government job will not make anybody rich except you are planning to go steal. We need a change of mindset. You gave this young man a chance to sit down for it. Somebody sit down and say, so where are you working? Where you promise? Oh, another six years may come and pass. He will not deliver it. Because it cannot happen overnight. This overnight success is a failure mentality. We're passing today, I saw some people casting concrete and asked my son. I said, the people that are asking President Elect for a job, they see that they're casting concrete here. Because when you know anything, they will not give you anything. Somebody said, know something. You're looking for a job, don't shout behind the politician. Go look for a job. They're where they get who want work. Go find work to do. Create job. Government will never create job for everybody. Forget it. Even you get 12 or 24 years, it's not possible. So let us be patient minded. Let us have the mind to walk. Somebody said the mind to walk. Nehemiah chapter 4 and verse number 6. He says, so build we the walls. Nehemiah was a builder, a rebuilder of the nation. He said because the people had the mind to walk. Because if he, Nehemiah, had the vision. To transform the nation. And the people he carry do not have the vision to follow the transformation. Nothing will happen. My Bible says, be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. The renewing of government will not bring change. It's the renewing of our mind that will bring change. Because 90% of the people who are looking for public office, they are going to steal their own. Some say steal their own. I want time to hustle. I want time, no, we've been hustling enough. That want time to get it. That want time to take it. It is a bad mentality. How can people be taking government cars now and be hiding it behind the house and remove the engine, remove the tire? After all, I'm at time. I'm coming to lose jobs now, so I'm going to collect the car. So at the end of the day, we're going to sign here, or we're going to sign up for market, or we're going to river sale, we're going to call for our market. So let's keep the Jeep. The Land Cruiser Jeep. They gave me to do Ministry of Health work. I will keep it. When they take their job, I take my car. That is a buckle ball mentality. Somebody say buckle ball. See, often now we don't have electricity. You know that no Avore King yet to call electric pole down. We the same one to AK for the service. 
pew, 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 pew. We bust the transformer. Later on, we cut the tree down. We do fire coal. Later on, the iron pole that were land up from, from free port or from free zoo all the way to the hard rope. We cut it all one by one. We sell it to scrap people. Now to get all light again, bug up mentality have come. When they give it to all, we will spoil it. When they all get it, we will spoil it. Buck up all mindset. Right here, Abraco, go to the place called Plateau. Abidjan Plateau, you are past Sunday. All the war the people fought, they didn't burn their story belly now. But our own, we burn all. We put fire in all. We get something before, but we get mentality to spoil it. We quit to spoil something. So, stand to your feet tonight. And say, oh, Heavenly Father, as we are waiting on you, concerning Liberia, we say a new mindset before the new government. It's not new government before new mind. It's new mind before new government. Because if you have this in satanic and buck up our mentality, you will climb up there now, they will give you a job. The first thing you look for the heart to steal. All your girlfriend that you'll be promising, they are the one that will get a job first. The nepotism you are accusing Manjoa, that the same nepotism you will do. And that's why we are here to tell you the truth. When you're missing it, you fall in the hole, we tell you to get out. You there already, the only we borrow, you know how to ride. The next thing you see somebody passing the air conditioned car, you say, Yeah, you'll be driving it. We're coming to take the car there for your journey. What kind of wicked mentality is that? Somebody went to school, they get their degree, they have gone for training, government has invested money for them to learn something. Overnight, you come and sweep them away. Then you say, After that, what time to get a job? Go to the job now. What thing you can do when you enter the office? Say, Mindset. Somebody say mindset. You think people can become engineers, they like that? They become doctors, they like that? No. They are trained professionals. So when they say change of government, they only change the leadership and change strategic places, but the rest of the people remain on the payroll. They continue to work. I want you to pray. Say, oh, Heavenly Father. Because let me tell you the truth. If our mind don't change, we may go into crisis very soon. And that crisis will be that everybody fighting for something that is nothing. Everybody wants something, they can't find it. People will be standing to ministry gate. When you come in outside, they collect your fire for you. They say, that water to carry the fire. You enter your office, somebody lie the door in front, you say, that water to be in the office. What thing you know happening in the office? You wouldn't be selling already in front of, in front of the office. The part two are here. Now time for me to continue. He said, no. And I'm selling Ori again. You that are driving the car before can't sell the Ori. Me are going in the office. That's not how they can change government. Change your mind first. Say, change your mind. Say, oh, heavenly father. From Cape Man to Cape Amos. From Man Nima to Wologisi. From Maryland. All the way to Magibi or Lothar. We pray for change of mentality for Liberians. Lift for your voice and pray that prayer. Lord, we pray for a new mindset. Laga, 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 laga. Lega da grada le da da da. The people must be willing to walk a new mentality. La ta ta, lekete, 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 lekete. Laga 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 Oh Lord, we pray with a new mentality. Renew our mind. Renew our mind. Renew our mind. Renew our mind. Renew our mind.